one critic said I was like the Meryl Streep of tough broads or something. <laughs> I know that was a compliment, and I, I'll take it as a compliment, but I mean, I think it's very easy for me to come across as tough, but that's not how I am, and it's not how I see myself. I've had a few examples of shows I did where the, the fans were particularly rabid, which was really interesting. The first one was 24, and 24 fans were just diehard, you know, and it was amazing. It looked like a wedding cake. <gasps> and then again for Watchmen, they were devoted to the, you know, graphic novel, and so they were kind of waiting for us to make a huge misstep, and they were watching every little minute detail. For a while, it was interesting that enough of a kind of small movie I did called um, Garden State. Yeah. Got a lot of fans from Garden State. And wow. Frasier. And I mean, I only did a handful of episodes, but people loved that character. She's just so awful. But, you know, the kind of person you love to hate. Yeah, that's gotten you far. <laughs> get off your ass and get a pen! <laughs> Fargo, I, I have to say, I, I wouldn't have minded doing another season of Fargo. I found her such a fascinating character. A person you could admire in so many ways, but who was just ruthless when it came to certain things. And people kept coming up to me and saying that I, that I scared them in that part. And I said, she was just a supportive mother. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's that kind of person. She was from that generation and from that kind of a, of a community where you just took care of things. You just did what had to be done. And, it didn't matter what it was. It didn't matter whether you were a man or a woman. Don't assume, just because I'm an old woman, that my back is weak and my stomach's not strong. I don't think of some of these women as tough necessarily. They're, they're, some of them are strong. Certainly, my character in Fargo was a very, very, very strong woman. Lori Blake in Watchmen, she comes across tough because she's hiding so much pain. And that's, I think, true, certainly, of Deborah Vance and Hacks. She's much less in control than Lori Blake. I mean, she's much more chaotic and brittle and kind of much less together. I think in season two, we're gonna see a lot of the things. We're finally gonna find out some of the things that did really damage her permanently. You know, <laughs> crying gives you wrinkles. <laughs> you need to learn how to cry without moving your forehead at all. Like... This one, people are already just so addicted to the show. They're saying, I have to wait how long to see another episode? But it's it's sort of across the board. It's men, women, all ages. They like seeing the two generations butting heads and not necessarily one being right and one being wrong. Yesterday, somebody came up to me and said how much he and his wife loved the show and they particularly loved the little moments when you saw the crack in her armor, you know, the vulnerability, because then that made her suddenly very likable rather than just being somebody who was just sort of funny, you know, and kind of occasionally kind of abrasive. 2,500 shows, what do you have to say? Well, I'll tell you what I have to say. Eat your heart out, Celine! Now, of course, Mayor of Easttown. That was complete luck, dumb luck on, on my part, yeah. to have those two contrasting roles and right back to back, and for them both to be of the shows of such good quality and amazing writing and stellar cast, that was just, very, very lucky on my part that that happened. L listen to me, a fair, a strong word, very strong. It happened twice. <laughs> okay, three times, top. I know that no one had any intention of it being other than just a limited series when, when I went into it, but I think the response has been so enormous and Kate enjoyed the role so much. Sure, HBO will offer her the sun and the moon to, to do it again, her and the writer. I don't know if I will have time, but uh, maybe I could do a few episodes and, you know, they could kill me off or something. <laughs> I want a great death scene as Helen playing Fruit Ninja on my deathbed. <laughs>